weekend of July 20th. Um, we are getting ready for a huge thunderstorm to come rolling through here, supposedly with lots of wonderful hail and all like that. So I'm going to try to do that, be go through this before that storm hits. Um, I did get, I think it's seven books this last week. Yeah, seven books. Four of them were review books, so I'm going to go through those first. And yes, I did cut my hair off. It was getting kind of bad at the ends from where I bleached it, so I just kind of cut it all off. It'll grow back out. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but it is nice for the summer to have a super short. short excuse me. All right, so books I got for review. The first book I got from review, I got from NetGalley, and that is Red Hood by, and I'm like holding that upside down. <laughs> Red Hood by Elena K. Arnold. Um, this comes out in August, I believe. It's either August or September. And it's a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. And I've already read one of those this year and really liked it. Um, Girl in Red by Christina Henry. So I'm excited to read this one and see if I like it as well. So that's Red Hood. I got that from NetGalley to review. Um, the next one I got to review from the author. And this one came out last week. And that is Fortuna Sworn by K.J. Sutton. Um, those who... <laughs> know who Sutton is. Kelsey Sutton also wrote a lot of other young adult like kind of paranormal books. Um, Some Quiet Place is one that she wrote that I really liked and I've read a couple other of her books that I've enjoyed. So she contacted me to ask if I would um, review this and this is sounds like it's more of an adult like paranormal over fantasy kind of thing. So yeah it's already out. Um, I just got to review so I'll be doing that soon. The next one I got to review I'm really, really excited about, and that is the fifth and final book in the Great Library series by Rachel Kane, and this is Sword and Pen. Um, this comes out in September. I am so excited to get this. I just love this series. This is one of my favorite series I'm reading right now, and very, very excited to get Sword and Pen. So yeah, it should be a great series. And then another one I'm excited to get that I got through the Amazon Vine program is Midnight Beauties by Megan Shepard. In general, I'm a big fan of Megan Shepard's series. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of her. It was like The Cage or whatever that series I wasn't a big fan of, but her other series I really enjoyed. And I also enjoyed the first book in the series. So very much looking forward to the second book in The Grim Lovelies. I believe it's called The Grim Lovelies series. Um, Midnight Beauties. And these are uh, interesting fantasy books that kind of like a Paris, France historical setting. Um, really like the first one and very much looking forward to reading the second one. Yeah. All right. And then it, it was my birthday this last week. And so I did get one book for my birthday and that was Queen of Ruin by Tracy Banghart. Um, this is a young adult fantasy, and the point of view goes back and forth between these two sisters. Um, I really liked the first book. I actually was kind of surprised by how much I liked the first book. I believe I got in an Alcree, and it was one that I hadn't picked up on my own because I was like, oh, it's just another young adult fantasy book I don't want to read. Um, but this one looks like it's going to be quite a bit of fun. And then... Lastly, I got two books from the library. The first book I got from the library is Dreadful Company by Vivian Shaw. This is the second book in the Dr. Greta Halcyon series. Um, I really liked the first book in this series. It wasn't, I think I gave it four stars. It wasn't like completely blow me away outstanding, but I like the London setting. I really thought the idea of this young woman who's a modern day doctor that takes care of supernatural creatures was a lot of fun. I liked the mystery and I liked how helpful and kind the characters were to each other despite the fact that they were undead creatures and vampires and ghouls. They were always helping each other out and very helpful to Greta who is a doctor in this very unconventional society. So I really enjoyed it. Looking forward to reading Dreadful Company. And then the last one I got, I don't even want to show because I hate these kind of covers, but it is White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Um, this is the first book in the Dark Element series. Now, I like some romance in my fantasy, but I do not like um, just flat out kissy books, I guess. And that's probably why I never read this series. However, for those who have seen Storm and Fury 
by Jennifer L. Armentrout has been released. It just was released recently. Um, that book is actually a spin-off series from the Dark Element series. And right away when I started reading Storm of Fear, I could tell it was a spin-off series because there was this huge info dump about all these gargoyle shapeshifters and these wards and this whole society. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is a lot of information. This must be a spin-off series. And Storm and Fury is a spin-off series of this series. Now, I really love Storm and Fury. It was one of the best young adult urban fantasy series I've read this year. And so, of course, a lot of the characters from the Dark Element series are in Storm and Fury. And I really, really wanted to, like, just go and find out about all these characters in the background and how they got to where they were in Storm and Fury. So that is why I picked up the first book in Dark Elements, White Hot Kiss. Um... Yeah, I, they did the they redid the cover recently for this, and a different cover would be much more appropriate because this is actually more of a, there is romance in here, but it's more of an urban. Well, I don't know about this one, but Storm of Fury was more of an urban fantasy book, and it does involve some romance, but it was more like action fighting, shape shifting gargoyles and demons and all these cool stuff. It was very fast paced, lots of action scenes. Um, so I'm hoping this is the same way. That's a long explanation for why I ended up with White Hot Kiss. <laughs> so that's what I got. Um, I can hear like rumbling outside. Hopefully you guys can't hear it on the phone and I can actually hear rain getting closer to my house as I do this. Anyways, I got two books from the library. Oops, those were not, yeah. I got one book as a gift. And then I ended up getting these four books for review. Red Hood, Midnight Duties, Sword and Pen, which I'm super excited about, and then Fortuna Swarm. So that's what I got this week. Um, I hope you guys had a great, I was going to say 4th of July, but that was a long time ago. Um, I hope you have a great weekend. We will be camping again this coming weekend. And uh, my son is at hockey camp right now. He's at overnight hockey camp. So my husband and I kind of get the house to ourselves this week, which is it should be a lot of fun, except for now my husband has a whole bunch of business people coming in town, so he's going to be gone anyways. So I guess I get the house to myself, which I don't mind. It's fun. Um, it's fun to have some quiet and not have, you know, I can kind of do whatever I want. So that's nice. Um, anyways, yeah, it's been super, super hot here. Hence this thunderstorm we have rolling in. It's been in the mid to upper 90s and just really hot and steamy and nobody wants to be outside so I feel a little bit bad for my son being at hockey camp this weekend because he is north he's like two and a half hours north of our house but it's still going to be in the upper 80s low 90s up there as well at least it won't be in the mid to upper 90s like it is here with mm -hmm. we're under heat advisory all that heat indices over 100 and all that stuff so people down south probably are super used to that we don't really like the hot weather too much up here. I'm sure some people Minnesotans do, but I'm not a big fan. Um, as I said, we did drop my son off at hockey camp. It was a little traumatic. <laughs> he got pretty upset last year when we dropped him off, and I was hoping this year would be better. Um, he was super excited to go. He wanted to do this. They have a lot of NHL professional, like former players, come up and coach at this camp. And so he's super excited. They get to do a lot of fun field trips. But <laughs> right as we were leaving, he completely lost it. And then to make matters worse, about an hour, we were about an hour out of camp. He started coaching calling and was upset and wanted us to pick him back up and I was like I was trying to be sympathetic initially but then was kind of like sorry dude um, unless you're gonna like use your allowance to pay us back for this camp which is incredibly expensive you're gonna have to just tough it out and he was like you would make me pay you back for this and I said well yeah if you leave I'm gonna lose my money and all of a sudden he was like all right bye <laughs> so Hopefully he's having fun. I know last year he was kind of upset the first day and then the camp counselor said he had a great time and he wanted to go back. He was begging to go back and do this. So I get a little frustrated about all that, but hopefully he's having a good time. So um, that being said, that's all I really got to say. That's all we got going on this week. Um, I hope that you guys got a lot of great books and that you have a great week of reading ahead of you. And I will talk to you next week. All right. Bye.